responsibility of protecting our country and the incredible opportunity of working to try to make life better for all of you. I have made the cause of children and families uh, really my life's work. That's what my mission will be in the presidency. I will stand up for families against powerful interests, against corporations. I will do everything that I can to make sure that you have good jobs with rising incomes, that your kids have good educations from preschool through college. I hope you will give me a chance to serve as your president. Secretary Clinton, thank you. Mr. Trump? She's raising the money from the people she wants to control. It doesn't work that way. But when I started this campaign, I started it very strongly. It's called Make America Great Again. We're going to make America great. We have a depleted military. It has to be helped. It has to be fixed. We have the greatest people on earth in our military. We don't take care of our veterans. We take care of illegal immigrants, people that come into the country illegally better than we take care of our vets. That can't happen. Our policemen and women are disrespected. We need law and order. We need justice, too. Our inner cities are a disaster. You get shot walking to the store. They have no education. They have no jobs. I will do more for African Americans and Latinos than she can ever do in 10 lifetimes. All she's done is talk to the African Americans and to the Latinos. But they get the vote, and then they come back. They say, we'll see you in four years. We are going to make America strong again, and we are going to make America great again, and it has to start now. We cannot take four more years of Barack Obama, and that's what you get when you get her. Thank you both. Secretary Clinton, hold on just a moment, folks. Secretary Clinton, Mr. Trump, I want to thank you both for participating in all three of these debates. That brings to an end this year's debate sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. We want to thank the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and its students for having us. Now, the decision is up to you. While millions have already voted, Election Day, November 8th, is just 20 days away. One thing everyone here can agree on, we hope you will go vote. It is one of the honors and obligations of living in this great country. Thank you, and good night. And we've witnessed one of the most substantive, I think, debates mm -hmm. to date, this third and final debate, where there was talk about who's a puppet for Putin. Yeah, they're shaking hands with Chris Wallace, but will they shake hands with each other? When they first came out, they, of course, walked to their podiums and did not interact with each other. It doesn't look like they're going to shake hands at the end of this one either. John Dickerson, I think one of the pivotal moments in tonight's debate was the question about whether Donald Trump would accept the results. Yeah. Tell I me think after his daughter Ivanka this morning said that her father would accept the results. Yes. And my pencil on face. The nation on Sunday said we'll accept the results. Now, there's a difference, first of all, between accepting the results and no longer saying that the election is rigged. Because what's happening when you say the election is rigged is you're inciting your supporters to watch out for anywhere it might be rigged. And it's also, it's intimidating to those who who are worried about being watched at the polling place because there are going to be, be people out there who think that the, the vote is being rigged. But, but the central question here for Donald Trump's candidacy has always been, he is a change candidate and he's disrupting, and that's fantastic because there are a lot of people who want the system to get a punch in the nose, and he is punching the system in the nose. But change can go too far, mm -hmm. and when you question something that is the pillar of American democracy, which is the peaceful transfer of power, and you do it perhaps for your own ends, that's going past just punching the system in the nose. That's punching the actual undergirding of the system and kicking its legs out from under it. And that's what worries people about this talk that, well, the election, with no real proof that there is illegitimacy, there may be shenanigans, but that's different than the actual vote being illegitimate. That's what worries people. And Hillary Clinton concerned. turned it into a character issue. She said, this is horrifying. And then she said, every time Donald thinks things are not going in his direction, he claims whatever it is is rigged against him and mentioned him not getting an Emmy for his TV program, Celebrity Apprentice. At which point he said, no, and I should have won for that. Yeah, well, that's her larger character claim, which is that this isn't just about this specific election. This is a, a, a sort of habit of mind for him. And so she's trying to raise questions. And she tried this also with his attacks on the women accusers, saying that this is a broader habit of his. And, and you know, he is, again, the change candidate. But as Jeb Bush used to say, he's also, he used, Jeb used to, Bush used to call him the chaos candidate. And that question for voters between change and chaos is the question of the Trump candidate. Trump had a very strong reaction, though, when he said that he wouldn't, he said, I'll let you know. I haven't decided.
decided yet. She said it's denigrating and taking down our democracy. And I like to, Nora, as you pointed out, she used the word that this was absolutely horrifying. There was an audible gasp in the room when he made that comment. Let's turn to the issue of Russia. It appeared to me that Hillary, many times throughout this debate, came ready with, you could call them canned lines or punches that she wanted to land, however you may see it. And one of them was on topic of, of Russia, and she said that's because he'd rather have a puppet as a president, suggesting that Trump is Putin's puppet. That's right. And it, that was name calling, and he said, well, no, you're the puppet. The, the central question here is whether Donald Trump takes uh, on board the, uh, the evaluation of U.S. intelligence, uh, 